Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you could transfer large files between one iPhone and another iPhone using AirDrop. Now, typically when we're dealing with small files, like if you're, let's say you take a photo or you have a small file and you just wanna share that with another iPhone, well, what you could do is you could simply text it, you could email it, and that works fine. But when you start working with large file sizes, let's say a video file, and you wanna share that with another device, text, email don't really work that well because oftentimes they have file size limitations. So how do we solve for that? Well, AirDrop is the perfect solution. Um, so here on my iPhone 11, I recorded a 4K video of me just talking. And so there I am just kind of talking to the camera. Um, and what I wanna do is I wanna get that on my 6 Plus. So how do I go about doing that? Well, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the main screen of the iPhone, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up the control center. So I'm gonna do that on both phones. Here on the 6 Plus, I'm gonna swipe up from the bottom to bring up the control center, and on my iPhone 11, this will work on the 10 as well, I'm gonna swipe down from the top right-hand corner, and that brings up the control center. And in the top left-hand corner, you'll see all the connections of the device. Uh, that's where the airplane, the cell signal, the Wi-Fi signal, the Bluetooth signal, all of those are. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold on that. I'm gonna do it on both devices, and that pulls up all the connections. In the bottom left-hand corner, there's an option that says AirDrop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that, and you can either turn it off, you can allow AirDropping between contacts, or just simply enable it for everyone. I have it set to contacts on both devices, so I'm just gonna click on contacts only. And so now AirDrop is enabled. And so I can go ahead and now share files between these two devices. So what I'm gonna do is on my iPhone 11, I'm gonna go ahead and click on photos. I'm gonna click on my video file. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, there's the share icon. I'm gonna click on that. And that's how you typically share via text message, uh, mail recipients, that sort of thing. And what I'll see is because I have AirDrop enabled now on both of these devices, I see that my iPhone appears, uh, it says Kevin HP's iPhone, that's the name of my 6 Plus. I see it appearing in my contacts up here. So all I have to do is click on that and now it says waiting. And on my iPhone 6 Plus, what's gonna happen now is it's sending the file through. And so if I click into photos now, um, I'll see that the video file appears in photos and the file has been successfully transferred. Uh, so that's how easy it is. It's super simple to use AirDrop. AirDrop's very effective, especially when you have large file sizes and you need to transfer them from one device to another and you don't wanna you know, go through text or email or other means or even transfer it to a computer and then hook the other device up to your computer. Any of those techniques um, are very complicated and take a lot more time. Uh, so if you successfully learned how to use AirDrop by watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there's anything else you want to learn about, anything else you want to see me cover on my channel in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. All right, well, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.